welcome back. I'm still here with Janet Fox, <laughs> middle grade author extraordinaire and author of The Artifact Hunters, The Charmed Children of Rooksville Castle, and a lot more. But you do some pretty elaborate world building, especially in your middle grade novels. You have this huge fantasy world layered on top of a real world that's based on real history. And you have some sci-fi elements as well. So what advice would you have for writers that are setting out to build an elaborate fantasy world like this? So I, I um, first of all, if, if you're building a world that's in a real place, like this is in Scotland, and you have the chance to either go there either virtually or for real, that's, that's great. I mean, you can, you can do a lot virtually now. You can get a real feeling and flavor for a place by watching videos of the, of the area. And if you have the chance to go there for real, that gives you that sort of extra layer of what it smells like, what it feels like, you know, how it rains all the time in Scotland. <laughs> so it's really wet. Um, that yeah. kind of thing. So I would say if you can go to a place, then go there. Secondly, I would say, you're trying to reflect the mood of the story, the, the, the idea behind the story. So one other reason that I loved setting this in Scotland was that Scotland is a kind of mystical, magical, spooky place. It has a lot of history. It has a lot of um, uh, the flavor of, of all of those fairy tales and the, the sort of mystical elements that we associate with um, the Northern tier of Europe in particular. And, um, and so if, if you uh, want to reflect a mood, find a place that reflects the mood. A desert's going to be very different from a glacier. <laughs> so, so think about trying to reflect the mood of the story that you're telling. And the third thing is, I would say, try to incorporate all the senses, all five senses. Um, and, it, and if you if you can find out what a place smells like, feels like, um, Taste is obviously an odd one, but sometimes even that, you know, when we're when you're walking through uh, the heather in Scotland, it just that bursts with smell that you can practically taste. It's it's such a um, a rich environment. So yeah, again, if whatever you can reflect in terms of five senses, that that would be my suggestion. Yeah, I love it. Well, I'm going to take your advice and head over to Scotland immediately. <laughs> exactly. We all have to. We just have to. Yeah, we all have to. If anybody wants to, you know, go yeah. go fund me, if I can head over to Scotland, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thanks again. This is a quick bonus tip from Janet Fox. And thanks so much for sticking around, Janet. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>